and I, we've talked about this before too the casual listener assumes like when they're listening to an artist that they assume is really you know famous and a professional musician playing shows they the idea is in their head that you're a famous rich musician what do you need an act what do you who cares if you're getting point six or a penny mm -hmm. like you're a famous musician you're making music you must be having a lot of money you know, it's almost like how many uh, people are in the NFL compared to how many people play football just on some level in the country. Same kind of, you're a football player. What do you mean you need money for, like, you don't need any extra money. You're a professional football player. It's like, well, I could be Tom Brady or I could I could be like the bench third string they, safety. They even do it to <laughs> uh, college football players. Yeah, right. College yeah, football exactly. players are on scholarship. Fine, yeah. And like, what uh -huh. do you mean you need to get paid? You're on scholarship. Good point. Yeah. How do you live? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of people lose sight of the fact that most of their favorite musicians, if they're not absolute legends or from the 70s, <laughs> um, like mm -hmm. most of them are likely not big millionaires. And this could, you know, increasing the royalties. This is why so many musicians are getting behind this, not purely because of like a greed thing or they want just more money. But there's many musicians who this is their, you know, livelihood. I don't think people realize that the impact COVID had on how much money musicians made in the upcoming year, we're going to see numbers released for how much money was made last year per, per artist labels. I'm sure did okay, but even they're going to take a dip money made in music is made from merchandise and performing, not from streaming or CD sales anymore. We don't have them anymore. So all money last year made in music was streaming. They didn't make much money. No one knows that. Oh, they're still on the radio. They're still, they're signed. They're fine. Right. Yeah, they may be okay, but they're not making as much money as you think. By the listeners not caring and assuming that, labels haven't been able to control artists the way they do forever. Because labels can give artists $250,000 a year and say, oh, if you make it back, we'll pay you more. But you're not going to make it back because of the structure. And people mm -hmm. aren't going to make sure you make it back. They're not going to help you. The label's able to pocket the money, put all this money away. And <laughs> we've talked about it. I know we just talked about it not long ago. Like, even if you made a new streaming platform that paid artists based on like SoundCloud, based on how much attention they have, right. it's not going to survive if people don't care. And most people don't care. People have habits, they don't care. Um, they want to take the same route to work every day. And if there's an accident, they're still going to sit in that traffic and wait. <laughs> well, I mean, if you guys are listening, you know, comment on this video and, and shoot us an email. Like, would you change where you listen to your music based on how artist friendly they were? Or, or at what point does Spotify become so unfriendly? Do you say, I'm not doing that. I don't want to support them anymore.